it's your girl TB and I'm back with another video in today's video I'll be discussing the popular soap dr. Bronner's Castile soap and I know it's trending it's been trending it's popular so I'm gonna be reviewing it to see what the hype is all about so without further ado let's get into the video okay so boom everybody has been talking about dr. Bronner's soap and I definitely am a user of dr. Bronner's soap I'm not new to this I'm true to this period so I just want to come here to guys to share my thoughts on what I think about the soap, if you should get it, if you should use it, um, what I like about it. And Dr. Bronner's soaps come in many different scents. Like they have peppermint, they have tea tree, they have unscented, they have almond, they have rose, they have lemon, they have a whole, a whole bunch of different scents. So you can choose whatever scent you like. I have tried many different scents, but the one that I love personally is the peppermint scent. This is what it looks like. I love me some peppermint. Dr. Bronner's soap is an 18 in one hemp peppermint pure Castile soap. Ingredients are water. If the first ingredient is not water, what are you doing? So it's water, organic coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, organic palm kernel oil, organic olive oil, organic hemp oil, organic Jehovah oil, and a bunch of other stuff. Peppermint is a major oil that is in this bottle. So yes, I prefer the peppermint oil because it is just invigorating. Like, if you haven't tried this soap, you need to try it right now. So as I mentioned before, I have tried many different scents, like the tea tree oil one, tea tree oil, and the unscented baby one. So as I said, the peppermint is my favorite. Dr. Bronner's soaps are 18 in one. That means they are a multi-purpose liquid soap. So you can do basically everything with these soaps. You can um, wash your dishes, you can do laundry, you can mop the floor, wash your dog, clean fruits and vegetables. It's an all-purpose cleaner, so you can like clean your bathroom and your kitchen with it. And you can shave your face, wash your hair, wash your car, do whatever you like with it, anything you want. You can even brush your teeth with it. But I mean, I haven't tried that, but that's what it says. Also, just a disclaimer here, when you are using this soap, it does say to dilute it because it can be strong. Me personally, I don't dilute it. But if you have sensitive skin, I do recommend diluting the soap. Peppermint, like peppermint has my heart like you guys don't understand if you are gonna try this soap for the first time I do recommend you trying the peppermint one first so a little background history with me I used to use bar soaps and other body wash to be honest body wash was never my thing like I hated body wash it never made me feel clean like it would it just it would just soap your body and I, I didn't feel like I took a shower like yeah like but it was never like woohoo yeah I feel clean that's why I always stuck to bar soaps like bar soaps were my thing and I always use the Irish spring bar soap Irish spring was the only bar soap I used because it just left that clean squeaky clean feeling and a lot of people say that squeaky clean feeling is not great because that means it's stripping your skin of its natural oils but I like that feeling strip my skin of them natural oils because I do not like that moisturizing feeling of soap because I'm about to moisturize after I come out the shower so I mean it doesn't matter to me my first experience using this soap I put this on my body and immediately I felt like my pores were opening up like I can yell through my pores like they were opening and it was just an invigorating feeling like at first I got scared because I'm like whoa this like tingling sensation but it was completely normal after the fact so it makes me feel like I'm clean and I'm taking a shower like this is what I'm talking about you I want the soap to clean my body clean my soul clean my soul it's invigorating because of the peppermint but keep in mind different scents have different feelings to them so because it's the peppermint it's very like cooling and you feel that nice airy feeling whether if you use like the almond scent it might be different or if you use the citrus scent it might be different as well when I use the tea tree one I didn't feel that same invigorating feeling tea tree is still kind of tingly but like it's not as intense as the peppermint so this one that's what I'm saying they vary depending on which one you use the baby unscented one definitely doesn't have any type of scent it doesn't have any feeling when you put it on it just feels like soap 
but it still has that fresh squeaky clean feeling to it not like other body wash that makes you feel dirty <laughs> This one makes you feel clean. I'm telling you, I've tried to go back to other soaps and it is just not working. Like I have to stick with my Dr. Bronner's peppermint soap. And I buy these every month. Like they last me, they typically last me for a month. So I basically just buy them every month or more. You know? I've used this soap on my face, body, and private areas. Ladies, when you're using this, you do want to dilute it when you're washing down there or you can just go ahead and get the baby unscented one and wash down there it works just as well no burning no yeast infections no itching no problems and I also use this to wash my hair once in a while so when I'm washing I have type 4 natural hair so when I'm washing my hair it feels like really like my scalp is awakening like you get that nice clean squeaky clean scalp some naturals don't like that feeling of it being squeaky clean because it kind of does strip your hair of moisture but i don't worry about that because i'm in a deep condition <laughs> right after but you could just use this maybe once a month for that really deep cleaning it's almost like a clarifying shampoo but it's made with oil so it's still kind of moisturizing in a way Overall, I only have good things about the soap. I haven't experienced anything bad. No irritation to the skin, no rashes, no scratches, no nothing. So I definitely think this soap is a winner. And because they have it in the unscented baby version, you can definitely use it on your children's skin, newborn babies, whatever you want to do. So yes, I love all my Dr. Bronner soaps. You can get Dr. Bronner soaps from anywhere. You can get it from Target, you can get it from Marshalls, you can get it from Amazon. TJ Maxx and even the beauty supply hair store if you have one near you. I'll definitely link all of these products and their different scents in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Definitely give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll catch you in the next video.